What is up YouTube? That's it here and today I'm super excited to bring you guys some Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl 6v6 singles Wi-Fi battles. Today we're back at it using some of my golden oldie favorite Pokemon. You know I'm about Electrode, man. For those of you guys that like my content, I've been a huge fan of Electrode for years. I used a ton of Electrode in uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I used a ton of Alakazam. We're mixing it up a little bit. We're, we don't have a Dragon type. There's no Garchomp, no Dragonite, no Salamence, nothing like that today. Today we're using Gyarados, which is very similar. We're using a little bit of Bliss because you know we have to. We've got Jirachi as our Rock Setter. Gliscor as a Defog user. And again, we're featuring the big Electro today. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Base 150 speed, fastest Pokemon in the format, Tib in nature, full speed, discharge, volt switch, taunt, and the big mirror coat. So hopefully you're excited to see some electrode action. I'm gonna direct you guys to the question of the day, and that is what is your favorite food? Oh my gosh. I think my favorite food might be like pizza, but in terms of like recipes, man, I make a pretty bomb spaghetti. And so I want to hear your best recipe. Please let me know your best recipe for anything you like to cook at home in the comments below. Without further ado, we're going to hop right into it. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right, that's a really, really cool team. I love seeing the Torkoal Venusaur core. I do think that's probably going to be a Stealth Rocks Rapid Spin Torkoal. That's pretty standard around these parts. So how would we want to deal with that? I don't think there's actually a problem with using Electrode. I think Electrode's really, really good lead versus team. We can go for tons of damage versus a lot of those mons. I really wish Electrode got Rabbit Spin, so we could just Rabbit Spin versus the Torkoal. But I think Electrode's just a great lead. It's great for so many of those Pokemon. And if this guy wants to play like a best of three, I would not mind playing a best of three against this guy. I think this guy's a very, very good team. And so we see Torkoal right off the bat, my boy. Um, how do I want to deal with this? I think I might just Volt Switch out and go right into Blissey. Because um, I think there's two things that can happen here. I could Taunt, and yeah, Taunt could stop Stealth Rocks, but if they take a Reed and go for a Lava Plume, I'd hate to deal with that um, on the Electrode slot. So I think I might just Volt Switch, go into Blissey, because if you set up Rocks, I go into Blissey, and then Blissey still outspeeds Torkoal. You do get up Rocks, but then I can like pin with like Flamethrower. And then even though it's resisted, it's still in the Sun, so it's still a lot of damage versus Torkoal's low base Special D. So we go right into Blissey here. And again, if you... Will-O-Wisp, Blissey doesn't care if you Flamethrower, Blissey doesn't really care if you Stealth Rocks, Blissey does not care, because we can eventually go into Gliscor. There's tons of Mons that we can actually switch in Gliscor versus, things like Infernape, things like Gyarados, if the Sun is up, things like Venusaur if the Sun's up, things like uh, Dragonite and stuff like that, things like Magnezone. So I think we're still fine here, I don't really think that Blissey is in a bad spot here. You shouldn't be switching here, please show me that Magnezone. Gyarados, this is fine. Um... Sun boosted moves are going to be great here. And again, Gyarados doesn't have that many moves that are great versus Blissey in the Sun, so Waterfall is going to be neutered. I'd love to get a Serene Grace Burn. Yo, show me that Serene Grace Burn. Show me it. Show me it. Critical hit, we take those. No burn. You know what? Thunder is hit to a 50% accuracy in the Sun. And we're clicking it. We are clicking it. Crunch? Yo, like I care. Yo, literally like I care. Survey says Thunder. Yo, that's fine. That's fine. I got no problem with that. I got no problem with that. And so right now, we use Thunder. We're going to condition them. So they know that we want to use Thunder. They're going to switch to Magnezone. So we're going to Flamethrower. Let's go. Or they might switch to, like, Venusaur. Show me that Venusaur. Show me Venusaur! We're conditioning them. Infernape, same thing. Like, I will switch away. I will switch away. Free damage breaks potential Sash. We're in a really, really good spot. I love the way they're playing this, by the way. They're playing this super, super well. They're playing this super well. We're also playing it very well. I'm not staying in. What do I want to switch to? Gliscor? Gliscor blocks a fighting attack very well. Gyarados blocks both, but I don't really want to waste the health on my Gyarados. If you want to Flare Blitz me on my Gyarados, or sorry, my Gliscor slot, go for it. But if you want to close combat me, like, that's fine. Uh, I will soak this with my Gliscor. We don't know if you're choiced or if you're sashed, but judging by how you're playing it, like, you're not sashed. You're choiced of some sort. Close combat, that's fine. So we're gonna need our defog up here. Defogs for free. You might switch in something like your Venusaur. That's fine. We'll switch right back out to Blissey. We're in a really good spot here. Um, you could also switch in something like your Gyarados or your Dragonite here, two flying types to block the EQ. But that just lets me get a free defog into a roost off, you know? So I think this is a really, really good situation for me. Ghost Course is just in a great spot, being able to soak a ton of damage. 
You have Venusaur Torkoal, Gyarados Dragonite, Infernape Magnuson. What an absolutely amazing Sun team. There's the Gyarados getting the big Intimidate. Um, we already saw the Crunch. I'm assuming you have Waterfall. Obviously, you probably have Dragon Dance and maybe like a secondary coverage move. Do I care about Ice Fang? Or do I care about Taunt more? I don't really think I care about this Gliscor that much. Like, I don't think Gliscor really brings a ton of value to the team. I don't really care about that much with Gliscor. Like, I'd rather actually take damage on this Gliscor slot and then switch in something like Electro. So, like, if you have Ice Fang, you have Ice Fang. I don't think it'll even KO me. Yeah, Waterfall's fine. It should not KO me. It might flinch, but it shouldn't KO, especially in the sun. Never lucky. Do I think Ice Fang KOs from here? It might. But I'd rather preserve my Electrode Sash. So I'll go for a U-turn again. Let's go. You got Ice Fang? There it is. Yeah, so we've seen your full set then. I'm absolutely fine with this. I don't think this is the end of the world. So you have Ice Fang, Crunch, Waterfall, I'm assuming Dragon Dance. And we're just going to come and ride with Electrode, I think. I could even come with Jirachi and just set rocks right now. And then you turn away if you bring a Magnuson. I think that's probably just a little bit better. Hopefully you don't get any more like flinches or like stat drops on me with Crunch. But like I want my rocks up. Your team is super weak to rocks. Yeah, this is fine. Please don't defense drop though. Can, can you get any luckier? <laughs> you flinched me with Waterfall to like pin my one mon. And now you're hitting me with this. You're literally never lucky. That's a plus one right now. Do I think Crunch KOs from here? It does. It totally does. Do you have anything that's switching on Crunch? Most of my mons can switch. I'm going to switch in my Gyarados. Like, I, I I, have to switch in my Gyarados. Like, I know it sucks taking this damage, but the Intimidate plus this is going to be very nice. And it'll get, like, a low-key pin situation set up. I know you're going to want to set rocks with your Torkoal soon, so I'll, I'll be able to get a Dragon Ants, then a Taunt, and then a second Dragon Ants. So it's going to be very nice. So show me that crunch, bro. Yo, you're intimidated. I got those leftovers working for me, yo. I'm, I'm actually playing my best right now. I'm playing my absolute best. We're in DD it up. I got rocks. I got everything I need to win this game, like, right here. I got rocks. I got potential for taunting things. Um, I can break your Magnezone. I can break your Infernape. I can break your Venusaur. I can break your Torkoal. Show me that switch. You have to. Show me that Dragonite, maybe? Torkoal? I'll taunt this. Ooh, after a plus one, did we just kill this thing with Earthquake? Yeah, I'll, I'll take this. EQ, EQ, literally, baby. The only other play here you have after this Torkoal is to bring out Dragon and just click the, the Outrage button, which is a good play. There's nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with just clicking that EQ button, or sorry, clicking that Outrage button and just foddering your Torkoal to get that up. Earthquake's still better in case they wanted to fodder or like fodder the Torkoal, or you can uh, oh protect. Cool. Do I want to switch? The, do I want to click Waterfall next turn? It shouldn't KO. I don't care if they want to switch to Dragonite. I really don't care if they want to switch to it because like I'm getting leftover procs at the end of the day, and I can just taunt that Dragonite to stop it from Dragon Dancing. Like, do I even care if it Dragon Dances? I'll click EQ again. That's fine. It's worth that they're clicking protect because they're not leftovers. They're Heat Rock. But we take those. Yeah, Torkoal down. So they can't stop my rocks, and they can't apply rocks for the rest of the game. Their team is Venusaur, Gyarados, Dragonite, Infernate, Magnezone, and we have rocks up. We're in a really, really good spot in a hard matchup. We're doing pretty not great. Venusaur. Venusaur could Sleep Powder. That's problematic. Venusaur can Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb. That's problematic. It doesn't get any other weird moves. It can Leaf Storm, I guess. Is it weird that I want a Dragon Dance? I'm a Dragon Dance. DD, baby, let's go. Let's pop it off. We outspeeding them in the sun right now, so that means a really bulky set. So maybe we're going to see a Leech Seed. And we see growth. Holy moly. They, they risked it for the best it. Let's see. Can we one-shot them? Let's think about this. They're going to go for, like, a big attack this turn. So, like, you know what? They're probably going to Giga Drain me. I think that, like, that set, with how slow it is is giga draining we can try and flinch and wait up the sun there's they probably have heat rock on torkoal so like we we have to crit with this earthquake here i think that's so greedy show me the crit though show me is it a crit am i that good no crit we just take those plus two that's a plus two we take those they're probably full hp full special attack with core and we take those we take those all the way to the bank yo i'm 
running right rampaging through their team right now. Let's freaking go. Let's go. EQ baby. Round two. Yeah, you ain't living this one, buddy. Thanks for waiting out your sun turns, though, so I can start waterfalling your Dragonite. Oh my goodness. It's not it's not coming together for him right now. It's not coming together. Dragonite. See, like, they're just going to click Outrage, right? They're just going to click Outrage. And they have Dragonite, Infernape, and their Gyarados, right? They're clicking Outrage. They're not, all right, if they Dragon Dance us this turn, I will taunt them next turn. But I think Waterfall's the right play. I know it's Sunny. Oh, E-Speed. So it's good I didn't taunt anyways. It doesn't even do... Oh, that was a crit. That was a crit. Okay, because we're super... We're pretty bulky. We don't do a ton to them, but they're just going to go for, like, E-Speeds. And this next one should do a lot more. We actually should be in a pretty decent spot. They have to crit us like twice. <laughs> That's still sunny. Holy moly. The big E speeds. Alright, can we get some big damage, please? Alright, what do we have to switch to here to stop this E speed? Sunlight fades, of course. A little better later than never. They have Dragonite. They have their Gyarados. I kind of want to save my Gyarados. Just to get the big Intimidate mid game. I have Jirachi. It's a great switch in. We'll switch in here. We'll pop a wish, and then we'll like U-turn to our Gyarados. Really, really solid stuff. And if you want to earthquake me, I still wished, you know. Or if you want to, if you want to earthquake me, like it doesn't matter because I had a free switch to my electrode or something. So it's a good play for me. It also forces you to have EQ, which I don't know if you'll have. You might be some sort of weird ass choice set. So I'll pop my wish and see what you have. Fire punch. Mm, might not kill. 21 HP, baby. Oh, burn. Never lucky, though. All right, so let's think about what we want to do in this situation. So, Wish is technically up. Do I need this to go to Gyarados? Who is Wish going to? If you want to Outrage, that's fine. I'll go to Alakazam. I'm going to switch into Gyarados. It'll get an Intimidate plus, like, if you Fire Punch again, it won't KO, and then I'll get, a, I'll get my Health Restoration and a Leftovers Tick. So, it's a good play if you want to Fire Punch. If you want an earthquake, like you'd already be earthquaking. Like if you want an E speed, you're intimidated. Oh, they're inner focus. They're not multi scale. Crap. Fire punch. Right? Don't kill me though. One HP Gyarados. Yo. Oh my gosh. You see that wish though? Yo, do you, do you be seeing these wishes though? Yo, Gyarados, the wish maker out here. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Yo, feels Gyarados, man. One HP, baby. How many E speeds do you have, by the way? How many E speeds do you be having? I think we live one more. All right, so they're gonna outrage this turn because that's their fifth E speed. That's fine. I'm just gonna take the KO. This is their last E speed. Hopefully, they don't KO. Eleven HP. We take these. Um, I, I could have gotten away with Dragon Dancing there, but I wanted to just go for the Waterfall in case they clicked Outrage. So at least this way we preserve our Gyarados, so that way we can switch in Jirachi, fodder it, then switch in our Gyarados, get a second Intimidate, which would enable like our the rest of our Pokemon to take less damage later on in the game if we Intimidated their Gyarados or something. So it saves them on, it means like whatever they send out, they're sending out something to Revenge KO our Gyarados, when they, we can still save the Gyarados for later. So you see how right here, we can just fodder the Jirachi and then bring back out our Gyarados and be a big bully. If we wanted to. We could also just like... I think I'm just going to follow the Dorachi. Actually, let me think about this. I can just follow the Dorachi and just set up my Electrode and be fine. Awesome. Feels... Oh. Feels amazing, man. Let's go. Fodder Jirachi. Are you going to DD here? The only way I think we get into a losing position is if they like Dragon Dance like five times in front of us right here. Ice Fang. That's completely fine. Yo, like I even care. Like I even care. Didn't even get the KO. Holy moly. That's fine. So if they DD here, we'll just U-turn out. It doesn't really matter. We're going into Electra anyways. Don't need a Doom Side or anything weird. There's the crunch. We take those. Yo, we take those. Alright. Show me that Electrode. Electrodes! Dragonite's down. You don't have any other ground types, my guy. 
it's time for my boy to come out hot with the big discharge and against that magnet zone i will click the big mirror coat so discharge up big electrode energy so gyarados is down show me that last pokemon infernape oh i thought there i thought oh, i guess we already took it the magnet zone yeah i'm just gonna discharge again then discharge again are you scarfed I think you might be like some sort of weird bandit set because you switched out versus my Gliss score. All right, so it's not scarfed. Survey says, what do you got, Chief? Full para, yo, 30% of the time, every time, big discharge. And the full para, yo, Electrode cleaning this one out. You love to see it. Yeah, absolutely love to see it. Electrode, big busted. One of my absolute favorite Pokemon. Making plays for days. And we do be taking them. All the way to the back. I really don't know why this person is using the Smog on Code 2022 2021 and using a Kyogre, but I will say that, like, we do not let that happen in our house. And Electrode is going to destroy the Kyogre, it's going to destroy the Cloyster, and it's going to destroy that Gyarados. So, how do we want to deal with this, though? Garchomp's the biggest problem. If we can take out Garchomp, um, we're going to be in a great spot. So, I'm going to lead Blissey in case they lead something like Kyogre. We can just Thunder it. They would Garchomp will Ice Beam the crap out of it. And then we'll just bring out our Electro and win the game. And to those of you guys saying, like, that's a why even play this person? Like, they're not even playing Smog on OU. We have to teach them that what they're doing is wrong. And that even though they're cheating, they're still not good enough. There's the Garchomp. It's almost like I play the game. Yo, show me those Stealth Rocks. Show me that EQ. Show me that Outrage. And I'll show you when I'll, I'll show you one mean Ice Beam, bro. And once we take out this Garchomp, like, Electro just rolls through their squad. Stealth Rock, yo, it's almost like I played the game. Please Stealth Rock me. See what happens. Please Stealth Rock me. Don't you Bright Powder me, though. <laughs> All right. It's my KO. All right. Cool. There's standard 2v2 set, so we take that out. So they have no more ground types. They Every single Pokemon on their team other than Titar takes super effective damage from Electro. So we take those. I do not care what you send out. I do not care what you send out. I'm sending your Uber team to the Shadow Realm, bro. And again, you wouldn't have Stealth Rocks on your Garchomp in case, in case you knew what you were doing. You wouldn't. You would not. So let's, uh, you know, let's just stay in for a couple turns. There's nothing wrong with going for, like, a, just a super standard Thunder here. If you want to drag it into my face, I will Thunder in your face. Show me the DD. Yeah, right there. DD in my face. Yo, I'm about to show you the world's biggest thunder like the world's never even seen. Where you looking, Gyarados? Huh? Huh? Where you looking, huh? Yo, deserved. I wouldn't be getting these wins up if you didn't have a Kyogre. It's, it's karma. This is literally karma in action right now. You put a Kyogre in your team... This is what happens to you. What are you going to do next, huh? Show me that Cloyster. Yo, I'll, you want to see me use Thunder? Want to see me do it again? I'll do it again. Yo, good luck, Chuck. Let's see what you're working with. Icicle Spear? Trying to take me out before I can have a chance to Thunder you, huh? You better have a King's Rock, bro. Which is also banned in singles, by the way. Let's see it. I know I'll hit. I have complete faith in this Blissey. To absolutely send every opponent to the Shadow Realm. Let's go. Thunder! Let's freaking go! Where are you looking, Cloyster? You can't see me. John Cena Blissey out here. Give me that para. Give me, give me, give me. Never lucky. <laughs> oh, we get the para. So, uh, just kidding. Sometimes lucky. I forgot that happens after Sash. We take those. We outspeed you now. How's it feel to get outsped? How's it feel to be absolutely dumpster defeated? It's better to Ice Beam here because it's Freezer better than Burn. Better against things like T-Tar. Oh, man, Blissey. My boy. Coming in hot. Oh, my gosh. Deserved. I probably shouldn't even upload this. I probably shouldn't even upload this, but, like, this just feels, like, too perfect. The karma is too perfect. Show me the Kyogre, right? They lost their Garchomp. They lost their Cloyster. They're going to bring in their Uber because they're super frustrated that they're losing, right? They're super frustrated that they're losing. And it's only going to get worse for you. Kyogre, popping it off, absolutely massive drizzle. How about absolutely massive 100% accuracy thunder? That's what I'm talking about. Show me the spout, bro. You better be spexed. You have to. All right, so you are spexed. Good play. 
No, I got no problem with like Spect slash like or maybe even a Mystic Water. I think it has to be one of those three. Good play. No problem there. So you have Kyogre, Gyarados, and Charizard and Titar. I'll discharge. I don't actually, you know what? I'll Volt Switch. I can just save my Electrode. You can't be Specs. Sorry, you can't be Scarfed and get away with that. You have to be some sort of weird Spec set. Which means this will do a lot less damage to whatever I want to bring in. Should I fodder a Pokemon or should I go into my Gyarados? I think Gyarados is fine. Oh, but you got Rocks up. I'm completely fine fodder in the Jirachi. I don't need Jirachi for anything else. I'd like to get Rocks up and you might not do over half. We'll see. Hey, this is what Ubers bring to the table, man. Ubers bring a lot more damage to the table than you might think. Yeah, this is totally specs. So remember, that does less damage based off your health. That's your second one of those. And I guess I'll discharge. So we're going to let you KO this guy. I'll try and get my rocks up. We'll let you KO him. Maybe we'll switch. Please switch. We just switch to T-Tar. <laughs> Bro, switching the T-Tar will be my free rocks. I'd like some free rocks. Be a bro. Be a homie. I swear, if you switched to T-Tar, like, I couldn't have, like, choreographed a funnier game. They're thinking about it. They're definitely thinking about it. Like, they would have already clicked it. It's almost like I'm controlling what my opponent's doing. <laughs> you ever seen someone know more about Pokemon? I've predicted literally every single move that has happened to this game. I've predicted every single move. You can see both my hands. I don't have two controllers. I got my one controller here. And I'm just that freaking good at Pokemon. I know what you're about, son. All right, so the right play here is the rocks, but they're not gonna rocks. They're totally gonna crunch. So like, I don't care if they crunch. I'm just gonna go for a Deem Desire, a DD Baby. I don't care what they do. Yeah, Dragon Dance, that's fine. Talking about DD Baby, there it is right there. Again, it does not matter. We got Sashmon, so we can bring the Gliscor super easy here. I think I might just bring in the Gliscor. Doom is going to chug this fool. And we can save that Jirachi to fodder once that Ogre comes back out. So this is, good. this is a good play for me. So we come right back with our boy. Right back in with our boy. We're going to take 12.5% on the switch in. We'll take about 45% with rocks. And then we'll live very slightly yeah we'll see how much damage is crunch are you gonna eq me i'd like to see crunch though crunch is a better play about 45 percent it's almost like i play the game damn i i swear i'm just so freaking good at pokemon sometimes it's not easy being this good yeah crunch shouldn't shouldn't came on with the crits feel three hp literally hashtag calculated and so now i have my Toxic Orb ticking, which means we have to restore more health doing this than they uh, than they can possibly deal. So what's going to happen here is they're going to take the do big Doom Desire attack. Big damage! Holy moly! You'll love to see that. And we got the big Poison Heal. I think I might just go for the EQ. Let's see. Should I EQ or should I Roost again? I'll Roost one more time. If you want to, if you get the defense drop, I'll switch to my Jirachi. Stone Edge. That is more damage. That's more damage than I thought. It's more damage than I, uh, and they crit. You had you had to crit that, by the way. You literally, literally had to crit it. Yo, hashtag never lucky. That's a plus one. But it is it, it sometimes do be like that. Let's go. It's electro time. You shouldn't be able to outspeed this boy. And I should be able to get a KO with this charge. I say should. You don't have your sandstorm boost anymore. Please go away. Please go away. Don't kill me thinking about it They're like what do we do what do we do yo electro busted let's go electrode ko and t-tars you have a kyogre a gyarados and a charizard and i have rocks up fight me bro what are you gonna do what are you gonna what are you gonna do huh did you send a kyogre your uber You're using the ubers out here huh no send out the charizard no send out gyarados no kyogre all right. Hey, you know what? Nothing's wrong with Kyogre. You're going to have to, like, Origin Balls or Scald me because, like, I'm going to outspeed you. And this discharge, this discharge might not KO you because, like, you're a literal uber. But, like, it's going to hit you so hard. Your water spout's going to be pretty weak, bro. Let's go! 
Oh, one HP, baby. Not really one HP. Water spout. I, to I told you, bro. I told you, bro. You're weak. That's weak sauce. Get that out of here. Electro. Coming hot. Cleaning up those wins. You got nothing. You got nothing. This game's over, man. I, I love sending these teams. This guy has a competitive team. He used Stealth Rocks turn one. He set up like multiple Dragon Dances. He tried to Shell Smash with the Cloister. He sent that thing out. Like this guy tried every possible situation to sweep us, set up, win the game, and steal the game. And I was like, how about you take these L's, huh? How about you take these big L's? Because I have Electrode, okay? I have Electrode. And I don't like taking these L's. You know, there, there is an L in Electrode, but it stands for, let's go get those wins. That's what it stands for. And we take those all the way to the bank, man. I love beating people to have Ubers and just sending them to the shadow room, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, think about leaving a comment. Think about checking out all the stuff in the description. I have links to my Patreon, links to my Twitch channel, and links to my skateboarding channel. If you guys want to check that out, if you guys want to see me fall on my ass, think about checking out that skateboarding channel. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.